The band started off with me, Ben, and this guy named Dave. First it was a three-piece, then we roped Roby into being in the band and went on tour uh, and then Roby quit or was fired or something and uh, uh, it, it's, it's all shrouded it's, in, it's all shrouded <laughs> in mystery. At some point we were just touring completely relentlessly and then you found out you were going to have the kid. Matt oh. Hall of the Red Scare was the second person who played drums in Mile Marker. Then Sean Husick played drums on another tour. But then we went to Europe and then... And then it was back to the old then they, Roby was yeah, back, Roby Ben was, was back. back, it was pure chaos. These guys hung in for a lot of trials and tribulations that I was going through. They'd always take me back. 
Oh, well, we'd take you back today. <laughs> <laughs> then there was the computer, remember? Roby was replaced by a machine briefly. We recorded yeah. a record and played some shows as a five piece, then went on tour as a four piece uh, with Sean and Roby, and then uh, moved to Chicago. Then most recently, Sean left, and now Noah is the drummer. Sean left because I, I think what he said to me was because he was tired of playing hardcore shows, tired of being in the hardcore scene. He was tired of being on tour all the time. He also was really not interested in the musical direction we were going in. We moved to Chicago because Chapel Hill was kind of tired of being here, sort of a smaller town. Yes, I like Chicago quite a bit. It's a wonderful city. It's extraordinarily violent. It's great. It's violent, it's cold, it's, <laughs> it's dirty. It's perfect. It's filthy. <laughs> Geographically, right in the middle. It's right yeah, in the middle. Yeah, and plus it's right in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> we wrote that record basically during the winter during the in a uh, practice space that had no, no heat. 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 A lot of the way that our new record sounds can be credited to the fact that it was really cold and uh, we were really miserable. I don't think you can really like listen to that record and fully get it without those circumstances. It's best to go into a meat locker and listen to it. <laughs> I don't know, I have a whole other selection of songs I listen to when I'm in the meat locker. <laughs> I'm not saying it's the best meat locker music, but it's, you know. I'll give it a chance. Every record that we've put out, and we we put out five full lengths, uh, has been on a different record label. J Tree, which is the label that we're on now, uh, we're going to probably stick with for a while. I kind of figure the, the reason to be on a record label is because uh, they do things that you you can't do, or they, they can do a better job of stuff than, than you could do yourself. And they've been doing it for a long time, and they're really good at what they do, and they put a lot of work into it. So uh, it frees us up to um, sit around and, and be conceptual about our band <laughs> and think about costumes and stuff, which is what we should be doing. <laughs> We're the White Uncle from North Carolina.